Hi guys, it's Amy here and today I bring you my May book haul. It is that wonderful time of the month again where I share all of the books that I have acquired in the month of May. Will there ever be a month where I haven't spent a load of money on books? I don't think there will. I can't remember the last time I didn't do a book haul in a month. You guys aren't complaining, I'm definitely not complaining. So let's just jump into it. So we'll kick things off with books from publishers because I like doing that first. Firstly from Penguin I was sent over this beautiful trilogy, it's the His Dark Materials books by Philip Pullman, one of my all-time favourite trilogies ever. Each of these books is absolutely stunning. I'm so happy now that I have a really nice edition of the paperbacks because I do have like a really old battered copy of the paperbacks which I have owned since I was like 12 years old and they are manky. So when I received these in the post with a note from Philip Pullman about the Book of Dust which is coming out in October I was flipping over the moon. I cannot even tell you how excited I was that day. So my grand plan with these ones is to do a reread of all three books in the months preceding the Book of Dust coming out. So I will plan that at some point and will refresh myself because I haven't reread these ones in a couple of years so I'm very much looking forward to doing that. Next we have a proof copy sent over from Walker Books. This is released by Patrick Ness. I took this one on holiday with me and I talk about it in my little holiday vlog thing if you guys have seen that and I will also be talking about it at the end of the month in my wrap up. And the second one sent over from Walker is Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. Now the reason why I chose this one was because I've seen Mercedes at Mercy's Bookish Musings talk about this one so much and say how much she loved it. And I'm sure she gave it five stars so I'm very much looking forward to picking it up. It is a graphic novel type thing, it does have writing in, the colour scheme looks very nice and the kind of drawings are quite simplistic but I like it so I'll definitely let you know what I think of this one once I've read it. Thought I'd quickly show the book that I received in my Willoughby Book Club book subscription package which I made a video of which you may have seen, I'll leave a link to it around here somewhere and down below. They sent me Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell by Susanna Clark. I received this one in my Bespoke Book Club subscription and I was very very happy with it. They obviously take some time to think about what you would like and kind of they looked at my Goodreads and things like that to make sure that they didn't send me something that I already owned and I really appreciate appreciated that. As I said I'll leave the link to my video down below if you want more information on the subscription service but I highly rate it. I should also leave my affiliate link down below should you wish to go and purchase your own subscription for yourself or for someone else because that will mean you get 10% off if you use my link. So moving on to books that I've purchased for myself this month, firstly we have Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. This is one that I've been meaning to read for such a long time because a lot of people recommend it to me and I've had it on my wish list for a hell of a long time and so I decided to pick it up. Are you guys surprised to hear that this book is set during World War II? Probably not because I have one, at least one, every single month. <laughs> so this one follows a young man during World War II and it's his kind of struggle between wanting to fight and not fighting and the various things. The title of this book coined the phrase Catch-22, like being stuck in the middle and not really knowing what to do. So yes, I'm very much looking forward to picking this one up. Next book I have here is My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies by Frederick Backman. I picked this one up because I saw it on Max at Well Done Books Instagram. He had a selection of books from this author and all of the covers were absolutely stunning. I very much judged it on the cover because I thought they were gorgeous and so I decided to go and look up the various books and picked one that sounded the most interesting to me. This one is about a young girl who discovers all these letters and apologies written from her grandmother and she reads those and then goes on an adventure of her own. Sounds really wonderful, it sounds like it's going to be quite like a quaint and heartwarming read and I hope that's what it's going to be so I'll let you know. Next we have a book that I pre-ordered the paperback of and that is Commonwealth by Anne Patchett. This one I picked up again because I saw it on Mercedes channel and she said she loved it. It may have even been one of her favourites of last year, I can't remember, or if it was maybe one that she read this year. She really liked it anyway. I believe I'm right in saying that this one is a family type drama and it's the kind of joining of two families and the events that happen with those families and it threads through and, and the way that Mercedes spoke about it just made it sound really really interesting and quite kind of beautifully done. So yes, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. To wrap up this book haul I have two graphic novels to show you. Firstly we have French Milk by Lucy Neasley, is it? I'm not sure how to say that surname. When I spoke about graphic novels before a lot of you in the comments recommended this author and I didn't really know which to go for because she's got so many different graphic novels so I decided to pick up this one. Inside it is black and white but there is a mixture of kind of drawings but also pictures as well like real life 
photos. Like here is a photo of the Eiffel Tower with some fireworks and then people kissing. Oh my goodness, naughty. <laughs> so from the back here it says, through delightful drawings, photographs and musings, 23 year old Lucy documents a six week trip that she and her mother took to Paris when each was facing a milestone birthday. So that's really sweet and I'm hoping that I really enjoy this one because I've seen that she's got so many different types of graphic novels out. So hopefully I'll really enjoy it and then I will pick up more in the future. And the final graphic novel I have to show you here today is Amy's bargain of the month. It is Blankets by Craig Thompson. I found this one on Amazon in the used book section that has so many good things and a lot of them are like ex library editions. This one cost me £6.21 for this huge like full-on graphic novel which I think is just mind-boggling. I think it's amazing so I was very excited to receive this one. As you can see again this is a black and white graphic novel and I have only ever heard fantastic things about this book and recently one of my best friends read it and she said that it was awesome so I'm very much looking forward to reading this one because I imagine I'm going to love it. So there we are, those are all the books that I picked up in May. I would love to hear down below what you've been purchasing. If you've read any of these let me know as well. As always I'll leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything I've mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye!